Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn about dynamic rollable security. In the previous video, we have seen how to implement the static rollable security. So I'm going to extend the same, uh, you know, same report to a next level where you can see that as a dynamic rollable security. Okay. So uh, you remember, right? So then the past table, we have, in the past uh, static rollable security, we only had one table called sales. But in order to make it dynamic, so you need to get a new table called access table or whatever table you can call it. So uh, earlier, if you remember, we have given Pradeep uh, as an, uh, you know, some Japan role or something like that, right? Japan role. So here, what we can do is uh, instead of giving a separate role, because uh, the problem with the static role level security is that you have to create many roles. Right, you have to keep creating a number of roles on the security part and then add people there. But in the dynamic role level security, you will have a table sitting on your model. Right, you have let's say 20 30 people sitting in you know, you have to give uh, security, so all of them you can add it in the one table and start assigning here like who, are, who is part of which table, and then you can immediately give access. Okay, so right now I'm just changing this Pradeep to APAC region, right? And maybe can have other details, of course. The main details that are required are email and the territory. Because territory is the same thing that we are talking about. So earlier in static role level security also, territory is, was the one which we are filtering it, right? For Japan people, Jap I mean, the data, the report should show only Japan related data. Similarly, here also we're doing the same thing, but we're trying to map the email directly with the territory in the table itself, in the model itself. And once you build this table, you can go to the model and try to join this new table with territory and with this territory. So basically, if you look at the join, this is basically one to many or you know, sometimes you have many to many as well. Because it all depends on one because uh, there could be more people in this access table which are part of many, I mean, from Japan itself, you have 10 people, right? So you can, you can have the same situation here. So that time it will become many to many. So you have to join this uh, basically based upon this two, and then you can implement the join. Once you implement the join, you can see this territory is joined with this territory and this will filter the data when you, when you select, let's say automatically when you uh, put a modeling uh, security, we'll use some formula there. So automatically that email related will be filtered and the related territories will be filtered. So whoever is joining from their location, like particular email address, that filter gets applied and territory will further filter the sales table with that particular region. So that is the main concept behind it. So to implement this, uh, I'm going to go to modeling and click on manage roles. And here we need to create only one role. So we just like, uh, the static role level security where we have to create many number of roles here it is all not required so only one role will be creating it and that is uh, i just named it as a user security and on the access table so i'm going to simply write email is equal to user principal name so we have a column called email in the access table right we have seen that so i'm going to write a formula simply email is equal to double equal to is the notation here so we'll write this formula. You have to remember this formula. User principal name is the one which is making things dynamic. So user principal name will pick up the email address whenever you log in from your Power BI service. And it will add like a filter email is equal to santoshpotnam.com, right? Say so my ID, let's say me at the rate santoshpotnam.com. So automatically that will be filtered and the data gets filtered with that particular territory because that access table has got my territory name and the join is based upon territory name. So that entire thing will be taken care and you'll be able to see the data filtering. So use user principal name is the main one. So once it is done, you can just close it. And here to see uh, who has logged in, I'm just trying to create a measure. So the measure is like user logged in. I'm just passing the same user principal name so that you can see I'm just adding it to the scorecard. And you can see the scorecard is showing discovery hub slash Santo. That means it is basically giving me the computer name because this is a pbx file sitting on my machine this is not power bi service so on my machine i'm not logging actually with this id right i'm actually logging in with what the same id uh, discovery hub right 
सो आम नॉट लॉगिंग इन विथ मी एट द रेट संतोष पोथन डॉट कॉल आई एम लॉगिंग इन विथ दिस पर्टिकुलर आई डी कैन सी ओ एम आई सो बेसिकली इफ यू गो टू द कमेंट प्रॉम्ट एंड टाइप इन ओ एम आई यू कैन सी द सिस्टम नेम एंड द यूजर नेम सो द सेम थिंग इज शोइंग अप हियर बट वंस यू पब्लिश टू द क्लाउड इट विल शो अप द यूजर लॉगड इन आई डी लेट से पब्लिश दिस आई सेव दिस रिपोर्ट राइट आई जस्ट पब्लिश दिस टू पावर बी सर्विस let me just click on this demo rls and select and go back to my power bi service so as you can see here we had static role level security earlier so now a new report will come called dynamic role level security yes we have two reports so now if you open this report now the same place what we were seeing discovery hub slash santosh will be able to show you me at the rate santoshpotnok.com because this is the user id that i have logged in this will automatically picked up because that user principal name is doing all this so once you see this you are good to implement your next level of security so i'll go back to my workspace uh, i'll go back to my settings security so since we have only one role that needs to be added here i am going to add all the people here let's say i'm going to add pradeep again right so i'm going to add pradeep so i'm save it so pradeep is assigned to this role as per the data pradeep is assigned to apac region if you remember right so now i have to share this report right because if you log in with the pradeep user id let me just go back to the pradeep user id this is a incognito mode in private mode i've opened i've logged in with pradeep user id you can see here and uh, you can see this guy has no access to any workspace or any other report right he only has access to what a static role level security a previous report that we've shared him so this report he has access to but we have not shared him the new report dynamic role level security so i'm going to share him the report so let's go back to my uh, me at the rate santoshpotnok.com and let me go back to this workspace and let me go to dynamic role level security report and share button and i'm going to type pradeep so once i add the pradeep let me click on send so automatically he should be getting a trigger email in his inbox let me go back to the other location and check my I mean, check Pradeep's inbox. You can see Pradeep's inbox. So just now we got an email, and you can see says Santosh Potnak is shared to Pradeep and this particular dynamic role level security. So now I can open this report and see APAC region coming in. Let's wait for Pradeep. Yeah. So this is automatically applied. So now you have understood, right? So we should not. Uh, share workspace to that person rather we should share the report via share option and apply these rules so automatically uh, role level security will be applied correctly so whatever we have seen just now is a dynamic role level security and in the previous video we have seen static role level security thank you so much for watching guys let's catch up in the next video